How's it going ladies and bros, it's our Bobby Six Kill and welcome to an impressions video we're going to be doing on a game called Cyber Stikes Nerd <laughs> Nerdventure. Henceforth known as Nerdventure, because I can't say German words. But um, actually I believe the main character's name is Cyber Stike. Anyway, it is a point and click adventure game. Looks like it might be a little bit different though because of its uh, source material, but you'll see that as we get into it. But uh, we're going to do half an hour or so, check out what it's about. It looks very interesting. Let's jump in. Ah, it's you. Finally. Dude, you're totally late. Yeah, we wanted to start an hour ago. See, we get to make choices. That's something you don't usually get today. Uh, blame cat. My cat ate my character sheet. How does it make you late? You had to process a loss before you came here, had you? <laughs> anyway, we used the time to draw up some characters. Yep, I made the most awesome character ever. A level 7 carnivorous plant named Trudy. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Minus 5 decks. That's pretty bad. Improvised crafting though. I don't know how it's going to craft with those leaves. With those little stubby leaves, but I'm sure it'll figure it out. Special skills, improvised crafting. Don't know about the most awesome. But certainly not your run-of-the-mill RPG character. Of course she's awesome. She's a vegan carnivorous plant, see? Hmm. So she's on a plant-based diet, yes? So she's a cannibal? Your point being? does that sort of make her a cannibal? Her being a plant herself and all? Yeah, not really. As long as she doesn't eat other... ...vegan carnivorous plants, right? By that logic, us eating a cow is uh, being a cannibal because we're both mammals, right? <laughs> Never mind, it's within the rules, so you may play her. As for the rest of the party. Oh goody. All right. Character creation is one of the best parts of pen and paper. Ooh. 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 We could, could we be boring? Could we be more boring? <laughs> or could we be... Um... Prone to dying. <laughs> uh, let's go... Let's just go warrior. We'll definitely need a tank. I can make an elvish... Yep, let me stop you right there. Had you been on time, you could have created your own character. But you weren't, so I made one for you. A level 4 human tailor. Special skill yet to be discovered. A tailor? <laughs> T. Vaughan. Vaughan. Level 4, human tailor. He fulfills every norm of an epic fantasy hero, plus he's fully sustainable and all. Argue generally. Argue level. Argue sustainability. Mm, I'm gonna argue generally. But, but... I had so many ideas for my character. Great. Then get some new ideas for this one, because that's the one you'll play. But to customize a bit, I'll grant you plus one strength, as you wanted to play a warrior. While we're at it, how about shoes made from recycled ocean plastic? <laughs> Which will give me plus ten on courage, because I dare to be different. Okay, you may equip the desired footwear. But it'll only give you plus one courage, and that's already pushing it. Man, our courage and strength is high. Let's begin. Your adventure starts in the fabled realm of Miramore. The once blossoming kingdom has fallen into decay. Nobody seems to know why or when it started. All you hear are rumours of evil hiding and commonplace things. Take a curiosity roll. Curious about the cause, you decide to travel the kingdom. Yes, Henry? So, where are we and have we met yet? Both of you are in... <laughs> Both of you are in your tailor shop in the village of Muramore Borough. Ooh, explore or complain? I do like both of those. <laughs> um, explore. I want to look around and I could eat. Alright then, play it out in character. Oh, okay, and now we go into the point and click adventure bit. Hmm. Odd colour around here. Kind of murky. Well, no time to worry about that now. I'm way too hungry. A sandwich would be lovely. So, you're really going to play this out in detail, are you? Never mind the rumours about something evil and will going down the drain. I'll get to that. Can't save the world in an empty stomach. One of those players, huh? Okay, then I'll go along with it. Outside in the streets you hear a travelling trader who advertises his goods in a bellowing voice. Perhaps you can attract his attention with the sound of a coin. Make a sandwich. Bag it. Bag it and tag it. 
Ah, shiny. How many do we need? Five. Well, there he is, I guess. What does he got? Don't ask me why I spread my paintings around the room like that. I really want to. Can we open that? No? Piece of string? Bag it. Who knows when you'll need that. Kind of sharp when stretched. Chili. Bag it. <laughs> Hot and spicy. There's always some use for that. Jeez, there's so much to bag. Look at wool. I accidentally glued it to the table, so no wool for me, I guess. No, of course you did. Taylor Diploma. Bag it. That's my most prized possession. Obviously. Ah, my diploma. Awesomest tailor in the realm of Muramore. Well, and the only one. And there's no guild, I had to craft it myself. Out of fabric, because I'm a tailor. <laughs> a belt I've been working on. I'll finish it later. Almonds. Bag it. Versatile cooking ingredient or a snack on the go. Water bottle. Bag it. I want that fish. Nearly unbreakable. Portable and reusable. I love it. Yep, hideous and totally useless. Small blessing. The talk enchantment wore off ages ago. Feather? Bag it. Writing utensil. Decoration. Tickle torture gear. So many possibilities in one small feather. What about this? All purpose towel? You gotta know where your towels are kept. Yeah, you gotta know where your towel is. Why is there always, always a mon uh, um, a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference? I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, because Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is amazing. Penny. Ah, oh, there you are. SMRT, hmm? I don't think so. Have some other stuff? Loaf of bread. Use all purpose towel. Can I just take the loaf of bread? There's shears over here. These scissors have made the transition from tool to decoration years ago. Totally vintage now. Cool, huh? Concept of flag. For flag. Just a little something for my friend Betsy. It's still a draft, but I'm sure, I, I'm sure I'm close. That's the Day of the Tentacle reference. Interesting. We're going to be looking at a lot of references, I think. Top secret draft for the upcoming Fairy Godmother collection. The final dress won't support coffee stains, though. That's a shame. Have we got everything we need? I feel like we should try that on this, right? Piece of string? I said it was sharp when it was tight. Hey, that really worked! Cool! I don't have, do I have, I don't have enough pennies, do I? Why should I give him anything? I don't even know what he wants or who he is. Go on then. Yo ho, mate! Did I hear the sweet sound of coin? Hi there. Hey, hello. Nice day for fishing, innit? Yeah, I guess. What's up? Plum butter. Come again? Alright, context. You see, I had this legendary grog business over in Scum. But the temperance lobby has smashed and shut it down. So I joined the sales team and keep his promising plum butter business. Can I interest you in your current deal? Creamy or crunchy? Uh, well, it's rather on the creamy side, I'd say. Okay, I'm interested. Support small business and all that. Great, today's special offer. Two jars for just five pennies. Sweet deal, right? I'd go for it if I were you. You seem trustworthy, alright, I'll take two jars. Let me get the pennies. BRB. Creamy or crunchy? Seriously, he wasn't offering peanut butter. That's minus one wisdom for you. What? That was pretty harsh, come on. Minus... Ahoy! Meow. Hmm, interesting. Absolutely right. I should give the trader the requested coins if I want to buy something from him. No shit, Sherlock, but we haven't got the freaking coins yet. I ran out of shelf space, so this is the next, place, the next thing I came up with. Sparks joining gives the place some texture. Why oh, just throw shit on the floor? The flies are men. Fun fact in a game of RPS, flies will always choose rock, scissors, paper, rock. Good to know. Interact with. Penny. Curious, why did I touch it like that? Excellent spot for a barrel, let's leave it there. There. In the carpet. Didn't even see that. 
dumbass. Bag it. All right, we're gonna have pennies. No, it's had to end up there, cause it's annoying. It ended up there to be annoying. All right. Here you go, five pennies. Thanks for the plum butter. My pleasure, nice doing business with you. I'll be off. I have a long way home and I don't want to be out after dark. My remote just doesn't feel safe anymore. So nearly all the colours been drained. Very curious. Well, stay safe. Bye. Cool. Guess we better investigate this drained colour phenomenon. That is, if you ever get done with that sandwich of yours. You know, my character's skilled improvised crafting really high. So if you need anything made, better give Trudy the parts and she'll make something out of them. Good idea, thanks. Alright, so, bread. And then, plum jam. Plum butter, whatever. Is that it? Don't need anything else. Craft. Great, Trudy, thanks. Where'd the plate come from? Ah, never mind. Awesome sandwich, a bit soggy though, no offense. An eerie buzzing sound alarms you of something pesky approaching really fast. It seems like sinister forces have become aware of your noble, uh, sandwich quest? The great puppeteer has sent us out as minions, and here they come. Aw. Flies. Ass. What the? That's mine, shoo! This is a hold up, there's the breads we want. Oh yeah, that's, I, yeah. Let's settle this. Rock, paper, scissors. A duel you wish, except we do. Play whiz or whiz out as well. We do. No well. Rock, paper, scissors. Best out of three. I didn't see... The guidebook says that they... I think they go rock, uh, scissors first. Scissors we play. Got you. Ready, go. Hmm. One hour still. Paper. Got you. Two oh for me. Yeah, I win. Failed we have. Retreat we must. The boss will not be happy. Not knowing what your messing with you are. The a reckoning will be. There will be a reckoning. The the will see we all Wait, you've beaten the flies right away. Intuition plus two. Cool, thanks. I cheated, I read the book. Wow, one, two, three, seven. I've beaten seven flies all at once. So cool that I'll make a nice lucky charm from my belt. Okay. Can I have the sandwich now? Embroider your belt. Hmm, still a bit soggy. I'll just take it along for later. Ahem. Yes? You gotta still wait for that freaking sandwich. And now it's finally ready, you don't even want to eat it? It still needs to dry, way too soggy. So what can I do? It's perfect. The perfect sandwich can't be rushed. You're killing me. Embroider your belt. Just a few more stitches. I'm sure I left a needle somewhere around here. What the? Oh, come on, Trudy. Really? We talked about this. Devouring tools isn't cool. That's my last needle. Give it back. Retrieve the needle from Trudy. Here. Eat the chili. Use feather? Alright, good, we got our needle back. Use the last needle. Aha, masterfully stitched. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the greatest tailor of them all? Uh, mirror? Hello? Must be his day off. Yeah, the murky colour seeping into my shop has vanished. Sweet. Ha! Huh. Told you this colour thingy is important. Seems like your actions really affect this realm. That'll probably work well at work in other areas as well. Let's find out. Time to save the kingdom. Let's hit the road. Go to the great beyond. I'm surprised how quickly we're solving the issues here. Aurora Gale. Why swearing? Hi there, what's wrong? No, no. Around here? Oh, so much, sweetie, so much. 
But on my, on more imminent terms, my cat's stuck. You look like the athletic type, can't you just pull it out? No, no, mate. Sweetie, no, these gorgeous heels aren't exactly good at traction. No, no, mate. And as long as, as, as long as fa and fabulous night on the stage, I'm just so exhausted. No, no, no. Could you be a deer and help me pull it free? Sure. No, no, no. We just have to work around my heels and your muscle handicap somehow. Hey, muscle handicap? Really? Well, okay, you got a point. I'll think of something. No. Great. And please hurry, sweetie. My wife and kids are waiting for me. Sunflower oil. Ah, sunflower oil. There's still some left. Pity to waste it. Look, it's a blinky fish. The river's in really bad shape. No wonder the fish tried to escape it. There's nuclear waste over there, too. Bag it. Okay, steal the sign. Whatever. Well, it was illegible anyway. No one will miss it. Now, is everything self-inclusive, or do we have to keep moving around to find the stuff we need? You ain't seen nothing yet, boy. Excuse me? Just you wait. There'll be a reckoning. Ominous. Mountain Pass. Royal B Brickless Road. I can just waltz into the castle like that. It's more of an invitation only thing. Mountain Pass? Well, there you go then. I'm going to go loot the mountain pass instead. Flintstone, I'll have that. The Shoe Shoe Farm. Cow free since 1999? Or is that 999? Sweet, a prehistoric lighter. <laughs> Damn, I was sure there was actually a, this was actually a cow level. Is it a parachute? Did people really put parachutes in the laundry? Another bowl of petunias, another crash landing. Another hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy reference as well. Bag it. Cool. Shame though that there's no pulley attached. Mushroom stash. Well, let's just hope whoever collected them knew what they were doing. Or we might die. This looks like something that might be of interest later. Can I put shit in it? Looks like something that might be of interest later. Right now I don't really feel like messing around with creepy caves. Come on. Wait. Dry twigs. Bag it. I feel like we can light a fire here. Nice to dry. Basic campfire, campfire stuff. Info about dry twigs? Yeah, okay. You can get information about it. That's pretty good. Now we're just going to figure out how to move this uh, cart. Oh, we can go to the Enchanted Woods too. Just keep looting everything, you know. That's how point and click games work. Loot the shit out of everything. Take everything that isn't nailed down. And then we'll be able to solve some puzzles. Maybe. Eventually. It looks cool. I'm not sure what it's used, what it is, or what it's for, but I'll find a use for it. Let's see what happened here. Someone tried to cut down a tree, then stopped rather suddenly. Seems like around here it's not so much dangerous to go alone. But rather than to go accompanied by an axe, Come on, dude, move your ass. Bag it. Nice and dry. Good stuff for a campfire. Should I use you to merge things still? Or can I talk to you? What say you, Trudy? Hmm, Trudy? How come you're already here? Duh, I'm in your party as well, you know. So of course I travel where you travel. Huh? I see. And how'd you get here? Right. Seriously? This is a fantasy RPG, RPG. Use your imagination. Right, right. right, sure. So you flew or swam or whatever vegan kind of response doing this room. Gotcha. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, can we move this cart now then? Or can we go this way? Wild Meadows. Let's check that out. So there's an area we haven't checked out yet. And a scary, scary looking scarecrow thing. <gasps> Take his hat though. Bag it. Oh, he's way less scary without it. 
I better take that before a confused bunny moves in. Bag it. All right, all right, Brackish. All right. I can pretend to be a spy or a wizard or, well, something cool. Maybe. What is this? A sorted scrap metal. Good material, I'm sure I can reuse it somehow. The map started into scrolling over for me. Come on, scroll over for me. Don't feed the trolls. Curious if there are any trolls given the bridge size and all. Hang on. I'm pretty sure it says don't feed the trolls for a reason. But part of it that is confusing. Come on, just feed the trolls. It's all good. Here, give them a rubber chicken. Come on, that's not really feeding them. Rubber chicken's not food. It's pseudo food at best. Pseudo food. <laughs> what is this? A lever. Bag it. Probably wasn't a load bearing element of that bridge. Then again, with Mad Kev's constructions, you never know. I mean, that seems like the obvious thing to put for a lifting device. A lever. No? No? Why can we merge? What did we get? It's upcycling time. Thanks, Trudy. A lifting jack. Perfect. Just need to find that lever. He walks really funny. <laughs> it's very strange. Good thinking, think, think, good thinking, sweetie. Nom, 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 nom. Now I can lift the cap from the mud and you can pull it forward. Uh. Yay, we did it. Now what? Uh, yeah. I'm curious, how can we so strong? Uh, yeah. Stage life's that tough, is it? No, no. Well, a lot tougher than most people imagine, yes. Uh -uh. No, but it's probably no. because I work as a woodcutter when I'm off stage. Uh, yeah, that explains it. No, 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 no. Though, now that the woods are haunted, there isn't much to do. So lately I take more gigs to provide for my family. Anyway, uh, fierce belt you got there, sweetie. Oh thanks, just a little stitching exercise of mine. To commemorate me beating seven intruders at once. Intruders? Beating? Might sound like a bigger feat than you actually accomplished. Oh well, since you're phrasing it so vaguely. Seven at once, all by yourself. That should be celebrated, sweetie. By the power vested in me as queen, I name the Cyber Strike. It's a fierce outlandish name, meaning something like seven at a stroke. Thanks, I guess. But just to be clear, I beat them at a... Too vague to correct your vague description of elements. The wheels of fate have already been set into motion, as you find out shortly. Hi, y'all. Hi, Bev. Oh, honey, you've missed all the fun. Cyber Strike here has totally saved the day. That's not actually my... Hi, Aurora. Yeah, I've heard part of it. Hi, Cyber Strike. That's not my, uh... Never mind. That nickname's gonna stick, I guess. I like how his name's there, but it's crossed out now. Hello, Captain Beverly. Hey, Cyber Strike. Might accompany me to the castle? I'm sure the king would like to meet you. Not dressed properly. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't feel dressed for the occasion. This phrase is a question for politeness's sake. It doesn't have to stay that way. I see, sure, I'd love to meet the king. Good boy, I'll meet you at the castle, come soon. See you, Aurora. Can I put this on? Wear it. Wear it, you son of a bitch. Alright, let's go. To the castle. Ooh, weapon. Oops, nope, sorry, wrong track. Give me a moment, I had something prepared for this. Aw. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Shame, I almost enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good, man. Nah, I don't need to lug that around. If I need something mashed, I'll just ask Trudy. Corn? Steal it. I should just take stuff without permission, at least not while there's a royal guard around. Yeah, wait until she's not looking, then steal it. Huh. <laughs> The throne's still in repair, is it? No, 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 no. You know how it is, Your Majesty. Parts have to be ordered. No, no. And the messenger's overdue. No, no. Maybe the Morian tunnels are jammed again. Morian? Yeah. Seriously? Sounds very familiar. Right, right, right. 
Couldn't come up with your own geography of Muramura. If you're gonna comment on all my pop culture references, you'll be very busy. Just go with it and don't interrupt the story for such nonsense. Back to the carrot events. Be that as it may, I'm certainly not gonna sit on that. It's decided. Court will be held as a stand-up today. The bards say it's all the rage in the noble kingdom of Scrum. The inaudible grunt. Uncomfortable it may be, but at least we are fashionable. This audience may begin. Thanks, Your Highness. I present to you Cybenstrike. His past feats highly recommend him to your service. He, uh... Your Highness? Impressive, I've never seen anyone fall asleep while standing up. Even more remarkable, he's still standing. Nudge. So I guess we can't just nudge the our king, can we? No, not advisable, especially as I'd have to arrest you for that. Okay, I'll figure out a way to wake the king. Gently and respectfully, of course. Very prudent of you to ask instead of just nudging the king. Wisdom plus one. I was gonna nudge him anyway. Oh well, whatever. Um, let's throw water on him. Why not? That's obvious, right? Stick a stick a chili pepper in his mouth. Come on. Getting rid of all the fun options. Lame. Can take the companion cube. Nah, I'll just leave that here. Can't bear the thought of losing it. <laughs> I don't think it'll help me wake the king. Where's that feather? Oh, we already used that. Cookie cutters? I don't think it'll help me. Rolling pin would you just smack him in the head with it? Empty bucket. Fill it with water. No? What's this egg? Easter egg? Yeah, well, I guess it had to be an Easter egg. Easter egg. Oh, an Easter egg, I see. Talk to ominous chest. Are you a mimic? Uh, no, of course not. Hmm. Yet you're a chest and can talk. Curious. You're talking to Archie, a retired mimic. And a vegetarian, anyway. Cool. Why don't I look inside you? I most certainly do. How about a trade then? Do you have any cool stuff that is? Of course I do. I got some really valuable spices. All plants and such, yet it tastes too beefy for my liking. I love mystery spices. What do you want in exchange? All people around here feed me grapes. I really crave something more exotic. Bring me something like this, like I like and the spices of yours. Will do. How about uh, almonds? Take that away, I'm allergic to almonds. Chili pepper. That's way too hot for me. I'm wooden after all. Water? I'm not thirsty, thank you. Rubber chicken. A rubber chicken? Something seriously wrong with you. Mushrooms? Not exotic enough. Not exotic enough? Come on. Uh, the sandwich? Not exotic enough. Fruity is good, but I want something more exotic. What exactly do you mean by exotic? Sunflower oil. I don't like that. No deal, chum. You're a son of a bitch, I hope you know that. The royal to-do list, let's see. To boldly go where no king has gone before, okay. Keep calm and do something, can't argue with the wisdom of that. Urgent, hoard, pasta, yeast and bathroom tissue? Yeah, I'll stop there, it's just getting silly. I want whatever you've got, you bastard. Can I wake the king up somehow? We could set his house on fire. That's probably the easiest way to do it. No, no, no. If it's any help, as much as he sure loves cocoa. No, I don't no, have cocoa. No. You wouldn't miss a nice hot cup for the world. Make a cup of hot cocoa? Where the hell are we going to get that? You have milk here? No, no. No, we ran out. you got to get that no, elsewhere. No, 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 no. And nut milk, mine. The king's lactose intolerant. No, no, no. Remember to make hot cocoa. That's essential. We've got nuts. Do almonds and water, that's nut milk, right? Craft? Great, thanks for the plant-based milk, Trudy. But where do we get cocoa? Out of this prick. We need to make something that's, um, exotic. Chili? This stuff? No. The sandwich? The rubber chicken? 
<laughs> I don't know what to mix with it to make him want to eat it. Oh, the corn. I don't think they'll help me wake the king. No, I need that for the chest. Come on. Got any help for me, Trudy? Help me out. Good tomorrow, fair Trudy. I see. For a nice cup of cocoa, you need some kind of milk, cocoa beans, and something to make it hot. Hot is important. Gotcha. Yep, no shit, Sherlock. But thanks anyway. Um, oh shit, it's like 40 minutes. Alright, alright. We'll wrap this one up here. Um, let me know what you guys think though. We could always do a full on thing. It is pretty much a classic point and click adventure game with some extra choicey bits. I don't know if the choicey bits make any real difference or not. I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. I'm always down for a good point and click adventure game and the puzzles aren't too bad. At least not yet. Although there's a lot of areas you can go and it's hard to know whether you need to backtrack to areas to get the stuff you need for other areas or whether it's all included in that one location. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out for me and I'll see you in the next one.